Hey guys, Craig here, and welcome to the finale of Crush Bandicoot Warped. In the previous episode, we pretty much, we did, I can't even remember, we just got up to 100%. Basically just got all the gems in the remaining levels. Also off screen, I got all of my um, time trials up to gold standard and everything. So, we can actually get platinum trophy this episode and finish again. So... What we're going to first of all do is, there's two secret levels in the remastered version. I'm not sure if it was in the original Crash Bandicoot. I don't ever remember it being here. I could be wrong here, but I don't think there was any secret exits. But hey, who knows? But it's pretty, I'm not going to say it's actually pretty easy. We're actually really hidden, the secret exits here. So for this one, um, there's basically... A sign. Oh, whoops, I didn't even mean to do that, but hey, it do won't make a difference. We're just we're gonna be exiting the level pretty early on. So let's just have a wee look around. It doesn't matter if I win or lose the race. I'm not gonna be finishing, so it doesn't matter what place I get up to. I just need to keep my eye out for the sign. And see it right there? See the sign right here? Just crash into it. That's all we need to do. But should have access the level. Um, okay, I'm gonna be right back. Maybe I have to do it outside of time trials. All right, and here's the UFO sign outside of time trial. Bang. So okay, yep, I knocked it off, and we got a trophy. And I'm not sure if this will give us a gem or will. Okay, yeah, no, I was right. Wait, this brings us to hot cocoa. I'm confused. Oh, right, no, is this level I've done before? Let me see here. No, this isn't a level I've ever done. Okay, I thought this was just... I thought this was the level that I was in, first of all. Um, which I did, like, two episodes ago. But yes, it's a level that was incredibly difficult. So, let's see. I don't actually know what I'm doing here, I think. I just have to go for the boxes. So, this is... One of the secret levels, I think. I thought it landed a secret level, so. Alright then, I was right. Okay, this could be fun. So there's 70 boxes, so. <clears throat> I don't think that's actually a many. So I'm not too worried, so. I'm guessing these are technically. These next two levels are gonna be the hardest levels in the game. So, brilliant time to leave before the finale. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So. Guys, if you're wondering where the secret exits are, like, we're pretty well fucking hidden. And I'm gonna be right back, because that was a lot of progress there. Alright then, and I am back, so here we go. I'm wondering if the main aim of this level isn't to complete it, it's more to collect all of the boxes instead of it. I know that it is just for gems, so you do have to collect all the boxes but I'm wondering if it's that's instead of like going to an objective because the actual thing for the box was right beside where I spawned in so I'm on and there's no arrows on screen and all that jazz so I'm wondering if like there is just no end of a go there's just no end point it's just a giant circle around this volcano it's basically just free room but in that case, I'm confused by what you do for the time relic. So this is going to be interesting because, as I said before, I know nothing about this. This is the first time I've ever done hot cocoa. <laughs> so, you know, just wish me luck here. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Like, a lot of people are probably yelling at me but about my knowledge and all of this because, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I've, as I've said before, I've crashed... Warped is a childhood game of mine, but I've never like 100% of it before. Well, I've technically 100% of it now, but I've never like 102% of it. Or 105. Do you actually have to get all the Platinums for 105%? Because no way in hell I'm going for all Platinums. I can't even get Platinum in level 1. <laughs> I got it in one of the hard levels though. Don't ask how, but I got one of the hard, hard, hard levels. UF, um, are you 51, not UFO? Um, also I thought this is just going to be like a wee quick way to get to be those other levels without having relics. Like I thought Hot Cocoa was the other 
Coco mission I wonder if the other um unlock one is I'm hoping it's something easy <laughs> and not vehicle level but often it'll be a vehicle level like there's so many vehicle levels in this game like I was reading and like I think 50 odd percent of it like 58 percent of this game's levels are vehicle levels which eh. yeah there's not enough vehicle levels and then there's too many I think but like look at this we've got 53 boxes so far we're not doing too bad now and for time trial I'm not sure how I'm going to present I'm not I'm not sure how that's going to work um I'm hoping it's not going for all the boxes or else that will be boring I guess I'm hoping it's just going around in a circle because that would actually be easy that would make things so much easier but I doubt it for some reason I just doubt that that will be that easy to do so let's have a look here we're like almost in 60 out of 100 60 out of 70 boxes well now we're over it but like I'm not too worried honestly about this okay what is this here all right that's just the erupted volcano and I was right it was just a big circle around here so that's, does that mean we actually have to get oh all of the boxes to get the time relic mm. fun times as they say fun times but uh, if it's that I will just ask I'm not sure how long it will take me but I'll just record it and did that those nitros get valver box yep and there's another two boxes there's another one box of there. I remember there's one underwater where is that one underwater okay there it is right there so honestly if I just line this up here I should get up to 66 boxes hopefully let's have a look bang 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 there we go boys there we go so 66 we can get up to 67 or 68 millisecond here yeah, there's another two. And I wonder if there's another two after that, because I feel like I missed another one after these ones. No. Okay, there's a great white shark. Not so much fun. And there's another two boxes back on. No idea where they are. Okay, I think I found them. Let me see. Yeah, it's two boxes. Oh, that could have went badly. But there we go, we've got all of them. So that means we've got the box gem. Which means we've only got one more gem left in the entire game. But we do have another, um, have to get all of our elks. But I'm wondering where this is going to teleport me to once I've gotten this gem. I'm hoping I don't have to go into, like, two le levels once, like, I've done it. And, yeah. Alright then, and I am back, so let's have a look here. Gem, and exit. Alright, well, how do you get, so, if you just exit through there... How do you get out of the thing? Okay, I want to see how the teleporting works now. Because I don't know. I wonder if it's just going to go underneath into the... Um, the core of a place, I'm wondering. Let's have a look. Cause I have no idea. Okay, nope. Oh, no. Can I just skip straight back in? No. Oh, I have to go back the entire way through Road Crash. So, you know what I'll see is, I'll show you guys the time relic. So, I'll be right back. Guess this will do. Oh, it's frustrating. Like, I didn't know. It took me so long to figure out I didn't need to blow up. I, I didn't need to destroy all the boxes. Because I was going for every single box in the level. And that's why I had all the large, large times. But, yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the next day because my um Elgato kept on crashing on me, which was very sad, may I say. But either way, that'll be something I may go record at the end of the let's play, like right at the end, just get the platinum after I complete the final boss and crafts. Okay, I've got one more level in the entire game to do, as you can see. I've got two more gems and one more relic and you may be wondering where the other gem is but shh got that later <laughs> um but for this we need to go into dynamite by kind of oh it's in the next are they both in this one world damn this is a world of secrets isn't it <coughs> all right once you get down to this part here 
we need to find a certain pterodactyl. I'm not actually sure which one it is. It isn't this one here. It might be this one. Which I just died to. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure of this. I think this one actually seems like a really odd secret X to me. I remember it was the second pterodactyl of one of them. But let's see. I think yeah, it is this one here. I don't know why it's this one. I don't know what uh, where the hint is. Eggpog green T-Rex. Oh, wow. Are we going to get a T-Rex level? Oh, so scratch what I said earlier on. These... Oh, shit. Um, these levels were in the original Crash 3. I remember as soon as I got to Hot Cocoa, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I realized today that I hadn't said, yeah, we're 100% in it. Because now I'm thinking back to it, I do remember the freaking thing. But okay, let's have a look here. Um, this is a very- I don't know why I was about to say I'll go cut until the end of the level. That was- that would be a weird thing to say. So all I have to do here is get to the very end, and I don't have to hit any boxes. Because if so, that's gonna be pretty easy, actually. Time trail might be slightly frustrating on this, I'm not 100% sure. We will see, I guess. We will see. But you know what? This seems far less frustrating than Hot Cocoa was, so... I'll give it to that. However, it is things like that. This is which is gonna be worrying me. Because yeah, there are no checkpoints, but that's the same with any time trial, so I'm not too worried about that. Luckily I kinda of know how to glitch crashy good. So oh shit, no I don't. <laughs> There's a gem right there. So I can do that and immediately kill myself. So okay, this does not seem too bad, honestly. So I'm gonna be right back. All right then, and I accidentally failed the time trial, so yeah, we're just gonna get this here. And I guess I can sh also show you where the final gem is, if I'm able to do that now. I'm not sure if I need the final relic first, but if we come out to here, yeah, we need the final relic first. <laughs> you didn't see anything, guys, you didn't see anything. Alright, no, is that Sapphire? No, we not Sapphire Platinum. Jeez. Us. I'm not too happy, I'll take a Platinum. <laughs> I thought that was, wasn't even gonna be Sapphire, I thought that was a, just a dead on run. Like, I mean, I think about two seconds are changed off from Sapphire to Platinum. I mean, nothing to Platinum, that's just how fat, well, I guess, because you have to be there in a short amount of time. You can't, yeah, it is platinum as well. I've got a couple of platinums this Let's Play, guys. Be proud of me. Come on. Like, I'm not good at Crash. Also, let me just... Sorry about this here. Sorry, my mic had moved a wee bit. There we go. As you can see, two platinum. Oh, we've got one more sapphire. Hey, but we don't have our last gem. We don't have our last gem, he says. So there we go, we got gold. That wasn't too bad, actually. That was by my third try and I got gold. It's, it's so much easier, you know, once you know that you don't need to collect all the boxes before you go to the end of a level. Surprising, isn't it? <laughs> but there we go, that's the hardest part of the entire Let's Play done. Getting all the relics. And I'm so happy I went for all the gold relics off screen because apparently I need that for 105%. But there we go, guys. Our final relic in the game gotten. 
which means all we have to do is go fight the final boss again. And I will be showing off a fight because, you know, all we need an epic finale rather than just hot cocoa just being the most annoying part. And that's the final gem in the game. As you can see, we're up to 105%. And fireworks are going off in the background and time to go fight Cortex again. So, see you guys all in a second. Yes, it is true. The Panda Foot has brought all the crystals and all the gems to me. Ultimate power is mine. The world as we know it is about to end. And there we go, a brand new opening to the boss spell. And yeah, we now also have the run boots. And for some reason, I don't think you can ever use the bazooka in a boss spell. I don't know why, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about it. Like, look at this. This is so cool. And yep, time to beat Cortex again. It's, exact, it's the exact same battle. No extra difficulty, no reduced difficulty. But yeah, there we go. I just thought, you know, I want to show off this spell because I love it. It is such an epic battle. I love the way that the masks are fighting at the same time and it's kind of in your way. Cortex obviously has the biggest advantage out of everyone because he's out of the way of pretty much the entire battle and he's got a force field. Like, this should be an easy win for Cortex. If he just used his fucking rapid fire ability on his gun, like, he would win without a doubt. And yeah, that's just. This is just basically the entire boss battle, and there's the hardest part of the phase of the entire battle about to go away, and I almost died by, like, the easy bomb misses. Like, they're pretty easy, and they made it even easier in the final, in the new game. Even though they weren't even that di difficult in the first version of the game. Don't know why people were complaining about it. I never died against those things in my life, I don't think. And there goes the Wudabaga attacks. Like, Cortex should obviously just attack a lot more. I feel like that's something that should have been missing. It's missing. Like, he's got- he's friggin' invincible and he's still losing all the time. But there we go, where's the boss battle done once again? And, yep, time to just defeat him- oh god. Okay. Good, but I didn't make it any harder. There we go! Boss battle complete. And, see us guys all in a second after the real ending of the game. No, it cannot be! Not a prisoner of time again! The Time Twister machine could not hold itself together. We were lucky to escape. It is difficult to say what has happened to our enemies, but I doubt we will see them for a long time. And that's Crash Bandicoot Warped. And it looks like they did remove the cutscene from the final part of it. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you one more thing that changes when you 100% and 5% the game. And then I'll show off the final, um, I'll show off the credits. But yeah, as you can see, we've got 105%, which means we've gotten all, all relics up to gold, sta gold or platinum standard, which allowed us to get the final gem. We collected all the gems and all the crystals. Guys, who's shocked that we made it this far? I don't think anyone could be more shocked than me. But let's go into level 1 here, and this happens in a couple of levels, I can't tell you exactly which levels are all in, maybe I'll make, if you guys want I'll make a video about it, um, after the Let's Play as a post game, I will show off all the locations of a certain individual, let's say, <laughs> a couple of, a lot of you might know who I'm talking about, but yeah, it's, it's a really interesting thing, I'm glad they put it into the final game, they also made a trophy out of it. Um, this thing here I'm about to show off. And you do need 105% to do this, because I checked whenever I got, first of all, got the secret ending without getting 105%, which was, I guess, 102% or something like that, or just 100% general. 
Okay, and it isn't here. I'm very confused and I'll be right back until I find out how to get it. Oh right, I was a mistake. Maybe you didn't need to get all of them because here's Fake Crash right here. And yeah, it's Fake Crash by the way if you didn't know. But yeah, I honestly maybe don't need to get 105%. Maybe we need 100% to get it. But here we go, the final trophy in the game. Bang. This shit Fake Crash. No, except no substitutes and... There we go, we've got a platinum trophy on the game, and I pretty much showed the entire thing off. There were a couple of hidden trophies you had to get, and I may show them off in a different video. I won't show off me getting the trophies, unfortunately, because I've already gotten them. But yeah, that's all. That's everything I have to do in Crash Bandicoot Warp, and that's 105% Let's Play. So without any further ado, thank you guys all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And obviously, I'll need to show up. I'll need to end off um, the episode in a, a the entire let's play in a very good place, which will be in the center of the time twister. As soon as the loading screen's over, it's fine. The loading screens actually didn't have, weren't up as bad as I thought they were going to be. But here we go. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, see you guys all next time, where I may do another let's play of a Crash Bandicoot game. Possibly Crash Bandicoot 1, I'm not 100% sure. You'll all see later on. But hopefully see you guys all next time and enjoy the credits. Bye.